so good to see you guys this morning I wonder how you guys are doing let me know in the comments below if you watch this video on my blog post let me know in the comments below over there okay okay and um so today is gonna be a another extreme clean because you know we got to get the house clean all the time more so now that all the celebration stuff is over if you're new to my channel my name is Tasha Moore I am a part of the Random Nest family. I'm the mom. <laughs> and we post two times a week. That is once on Sunday where we post our Live Inspire. And then we post again on Thursdays where we invite you guys into our life. So today we're going to be doing extreme clean. And then I'm going to get into the kitchen. And I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite meal prepping recipes that involve chicken. So I hope you guys are ready for a good chicken meal, okay? But first, like always, we're going to get this house clean. But I have created cleaning list printables, okay? So we have been following that cleaning list, but we haven't been doing it on the weekends. We haven't been doing nothing on the weekends. I also bought some new curtains. I, If you saw my last video, I was hanging up the girls' curtains. So now we're going to hang up our living room curtains because... We need some more privacy up here. So I hope you guys are doing good out there. We love you guys. We're always praying for you. And without further ado, let's put on our aprons or put on our cleaning clothes and let's get started now, shall we? I am using my magic eraser. I love these things. I just love to get around the stove, get all the grease off and all the grime. It's relaxing. The one thing I don't like about my kitchen is my countertops because they're just a regular basic standard countertops. But you know what? I've learned to appreciate everything that God has blessed me with. And I praise God for the countertops that I do have. I just make sure they clean them extra good. That way I don't have to worry about anything. God willing in the future, we'll be able to replace them. But as of now, I thank God for what I have. It's thanking God for the little things that really helps us to understand the blessings that he has given us. Even doing the dishes because guess what? God has blessed us with dishes to wash. Let me just show you. I got these right here from Walmart. These are Eclipse uh, curtain rods. And what I like about these curtain rods is that you don't need any screws. As you can see, they're pressurized. And I love it because it looks like, look at that. It looks beautiful as if you have holes in your wall. It's hard for us to put holes in our windows because we have metal around every frame, like heavy metal around every frame in our house, including the windows. So if we're gonna drill a hole above the windows to hang up curtain rods, you have to drill higher up. And we don't want the curtains to like literally be touching <laughs> the high beam or something like that. So to fix that, each of these windows have a nice, wonderful uh, gap all the way up. So we're just gonna hang our curtains up and the pressure so they'll go into here and into there over there and it's just gonna be wonderful it'll give us a little bit more privacy a sheer bit of privacy which is what we want we don't want it to be too dark we just want it to be bright enough and there's my husband with the new curtain rod there he goes this is what this is what um, you guys will see on a normal day basis <laughs> except for when he's in his prayer closet. And he's probably even doing that in his prayer closet with the Bible, who knows?
I really like this, guys. It's so pretty. Huh, girls? How do you guys like it? It's so pretty. Love it, love See that, it. guys? It's look. so cute. I made it look like a beach hole. Yeah. Beach hole. This is really nice. The curtains add like an extra flair of privacy to our house. I just wanted to do a quick pop in to tell you that you got this, okay? You got this. Let's just continue to clean up together. Let's continue to support each other and clean up together. And don't forget that if you need help or if you need a schedule cleaning up, I have made those printables for you guys. And also, you can fill in anything else that you may have. My schedule of cleaning may look different than your schedule of cleaning. It's all about what you can do, okay? While you're cleaning, Listen to that beautiful gospel music, that praise and worship, and give God the praise and the glory that he deserves. And say, Satan, get thee behind me. Okay, you guys got this. You got this. Let's continue. I managed to separate clothes, clothes, towels, blankets, okay? So, I am going to take this downstairs and start washing. Today, we're gonna make chicken. So I'm putting all this chicken right here in this pan. This is just my signature Kirkland chicken, boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I usually buy from Costco. This is gonna be my regular chicken and this is gonna be my piece of chicken. So the frost is completely off. I have my stove set at 325 because I want my chicken to cook nice and slow. chicken is one of those chickens where you can easily take it and just make it how you want it to be which means that you can put pepperoni on it you can put a cheese piece of cheese mozzarella cheese all that kind of stuff on it and I'm gonna season them both at the same time for my piece of chicken I'm gonna add a little spice I'm going in with a little cayenne you may say, whoa, that's a lot of seasonings. But you know what? This chicken is going to be very, very flavorful. You want to have flavorful chicken. And remember, I'm only seasoning one side. Okay, we're meal prepping moms and dads because we don't have a lot of time, okay, to be standing up in the kitchen doing this all day. So this is ready. This is ready. Now for my... For my piece of chicken, I have this piece of sauce that I made for a pizza and I froze it. I put it in a Ziploc bag, which is why I say it's important to have a bag, bags for your food and it's frozen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm not gonna even defrost it, okay? Remember, we're gonna cook and leave this stuff. I'm just gonna set it on there. This makes our lives easier for it to cook on a low heat for about an hour or so to get it all done. I'm just gonna let this sauce fall down. And as it melts in the oven, I'll mix it in with the chicken. But for right now, I'm gonna leave that alone. For this chicken right here, I'm gonna add in my, I'm gonna add in my Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna 
decorate it with this paprika. Paprika doesn't really have a taste to it. It's more like decoration. But this one is supposed to be roasted paprika. So I guess it's supposed to have something. Anyways, I just like the look. It's very beautiful. Piece of chicken is one of those chickens that you can have over pasta noodles. And you can also have this kind of chicken over rice. Parmesan crusted chicken is a chicken you can have with rice, with veggies, with noodles, whatever you want. Each of these chickens are very versatile. I encourage you guys to get in the kitchen and get cooking some of this good old chicken. Hey guys, I just went into my freezer and pulled out this bag of rice. Now if you notice, it is in another freezer bag. So this bag in itself is not a freezer bag, but this one inside is. Because I like to cook a big pot of rice and freeze it off into sections once it cools down so that I don't have to cook rice. And that is another meal prep tip, is to make the food that you can make in advance. I know it's hard to do with vegetables and things like that, but these vegetables I made the other day and they're still good, so I'm gonna pull that out for dinner. It's just broccoli and cauliflower and carrots and things like that, just healthy stuff. Well, let's check on that chicken in the oven. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good, y'all don't know, y'all don't know. So this is how I'm going to defrost the rice. I'm just gonna let it sit in some warm water and then I'll pour it in a bowl and heat it up. All right guys, so what I did was pour out some of this juice from my piece of chicken. And it's not done yet, but I just wanna spread out my tomatoes. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more garlic for flavoring, just a little bit more. You can add pieces of pepperoni, but I don't have pepperoni, so I'm gonna use these bacon crumbles, which is also the Kirkland Signature brand. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some bacon on here. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven until the temperature says that it is done. And I'll see you guys at the end. That piece of chicken looks so good right out of the oven. Look at that. It's it's ready just on time too, so. It's kind of like cooking a crock pot chicken, guys, except that you're doing it in the oven. And it's so done. And this juice, oh, it's gonna go good on some rice. I'm telling you guys, you gotta try these recipes. It's gonna be so delicious. And that's it. Yummy, yum, yum. Enjoy.